going to be seniors next year, so we had the rot of the academic experience. Don't be afraid to take some random ass class. I feel like if your schedule is like busy, then it like forces you to be like productive. productive. It's not like instant gratification, you know, just like there's going to be a reward afterwards. Hey guys, it's Tiffany and Esther. And today we are going to be filming a how to succeed academically in high school type of video. Yes, all the academic advice. Yes, and this can be for anyone in any grade. Yeah, and so we're going to be seniors next year, so we've had the rot of the academic experience. Exactly, like we've done like all of the standardized tests, like school tests of course, like been through all of that. SATs. Yeah, literally, even like SAT subject tests. But yeah, we're going to teach you guys how to be good academic students because it's also really important to us. Yeah, and like that's what school's for, right? So exactly. the first topic that we're going to cover is like what classes should you take? And we kind of covered this a little bit in our last video, but we're going to go like a little bit more in depth today. Yes. So basically, I feel like whatever you're good at, you should like try to challenge yourself as much as you can exactly. in that area, you know? Like for example, if you're a STEM person, then you should like take harder STEM classes and like Maybe try to like double up in a science class. Try to like challenge yourself in some way or another. Yeah. But don't overdo it. Like don't like go on challenging like every single part of you, you know? Like, yeah, because like you have to make sure to like balance it. Yeah. Also, I feel like high school is the time to like explore your interests. So I would say like don't be afraid to take some random ass class. Especially in like the beginning years, like freshman, sophomore year. Just like take it, see if you're more of a humanities person or a STEM person. Well, obviously you don't have to like fit into one of them, but like, yeah, just see but, what like, you like, you know, what you're good at. Like, for example, I like social sciences the best. And I like sciences in general. So we'll just like take more classes in those areas and like improve exactly. further in exactly. that. So now we're going to cover like how to get good grades and all of that. So yes. one of the first things is like, how do you study for a test the best? Yeah, basically what I do is like, I review it throughout like when I learn it and then I make sure I like, know what's going on and then right before I do like a another extra in-depth review yes basically what, what tips do you have so I would say like study ahead beforehand don't like cram it yes, the night yeah. before so let's pretend it's like Monday and you the teacher tells you that you have a test on Friday so then I would say like Monday through Wednesday just like keep reviewing making sure that you understand the material yeah, and you know what they're exactly and in class like if you're not sure about something then ask the teacher yeah like they're they're they know everything like they are teaching it's they're, they're like they're the ones making the test so you know like that's like where you can get the information from exactly. and then i would say like two days before the test is when you like really like go through the materials you can for example for like a math test i would just like do all the problems um for like, the test do for example like questions you know and yeah, like, don't like, keep on doing the easy if your teacher has a review packet or something, then I would do that too. And so like if your friends have like teachers who are teaching the same subjects and they have review packets, you can ask your friends for those review packets so you have like more, more problems content. to keep them, yeah. keep on practicing. And if you have like limited time but like an unlimited amount of questions, I would again go for the more challenging ones. That's yeah. like where you actually learn and actually find where your weakness points are, not just like if you do the same old easy questions over and over exactly again. and make sure that you like keep challenging yourself and you kind of like make sure that you understand all the different concepts and everything say for like a social studies quiz it would be kind of like the same concept except for i feel like if it's more like key terms and vocabulary i would like make a quizlet and like keep on reviewing that for like math and science yeah just do like the hard questions really use your problem solving abilities mm -hmm. make sure you know the formulas Oh yeah, and if it's like a science class, then, and you don't like understand a concept or same thing, I would just like Google a YouTube video because like all yeah, these YouTube, YouTube videos, videos explain like the topics so well. Yeah, that's their job, you know, they're trying to get people to understand. Oh yeah, and like during school tests, like make sure that you come prepared with like pencil and eraser and everything. Don't be too scared about it because then you can like obviously not do well if you're too nervous. Like, try to be calm. Obviously it's hard. Oh yeah, oh my god, and time management. I feel like... High school tests, like, most of them are, like, timed, you know? Like, you have a certain amount of time. So yeah. make sure that you, like... Don't spend way too much time on yeah. one question. You can always go back, you know? And if there's, like, a hard problem, skip it and come back to it later. Because most questions are all worth the same amount of points, you know? So make sure to participate in class. Like, not only is it good for you and, like, like for your learning, but it's also good for the teacher to get to know you, too. And it's much more enjoyable to, like, participate in the Exactly. Thing, you know? Like... Don't Everyone just like sit there in class and just like 
stare. That's so boring. I know, like, you have to, like, take it in and and engage. And it also, like, helps build your confidence, like, once you keep doing it. Oh, yeah, and also, like, don't be scared to participate either. Yeah. I feel like in middle school, I was, like, so scared to, like, participate. But honestly, it's, like, a skill that you're gonna, like, need later on. Mm -hmm. I don't know who's gonna remember. I feel like messed up. Like, it's for learning, not, like, everything, like, it has to be accurate. Yeah, exactly. Like, if you're wrong, people will just correct you. They're just what they're there Exactly. For. Like, it's always good to participate. Exactly. A lot. Basically, all you need to do to get a good grade, then, is just to basically do the things we said before. Sitting, participate in class, um, do your homework. Yes. Also, um, spend time in the class, pay attention in class. You can also ask your classmates if you have any questions, too, because they're all in the same boat as you. If you do get a bad grade, it's not the end of the world. It's just one. Yeah, it's literally fine, especially if you use that like bad grade to like motivate yourself for the next test and then you know what you did wrong so you can like correct that. And also teachers aren't always that mean. Like if you get a really, really bad grade, they're usually gonna like allow you to retake the test or like yeah. fix it somehow. And like learn from those it. mistakes too. Oh, and if you realize that you got like a bad grade, then like like study more for the test next time. Like make sure that you're like really confident and prepared when you go into that test. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about homework. <laughs> so basically, try not to procrastinate. Yes. I know it's hard. But I would say I like to get my homework done immediately. I do, <laughs> but I procrastinate, which is a bad thing to do. Yeah. But I try to get it done, you know? Just mm-hmm. like, also I find that the more things you have to do, the more you can fit into your schedule. Yeah, you know I, mean? I feel like I feel like if your schedule is like busy, then it like forces you to be like productive. productive. Exactly. Yeah, that's I kind of love I'm that feeling. So, be- <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you can do your homework early, and then like after that, like use the time to like study for tests. Or you can just like you know that. I usually like to go with like the easier homework first, so that it makes me like feel productive. Oh, you know, really? it's like doing the math homework first like get that out of the way no, and then do this and this. if i get the hard stuff done first i'm like oh i don't have the easy stuff now like it's so much easier, like do you know? what works for you yeah now for the subject of how to not procrastinate i feel like this is such a huge one and it's always so tempting to like push things back but we're going to tell you guys some tips on how to not procrastinate well first one i already mentioned earlier was just to like make yourself have to do more things so you actually get exactly like if you pack your schedule then like i feel like that's like so much better you're gonna utilize your free time more you know if you have a ton of free time then you're like oh i can just do it later i have so much time anyway you know that's how i feel i know and then like it gets like all stressful but i would say like when you get home you can probably like get a snack or something and then just like start after like 10 20 minutes no but like don't go on your phone yeah okay so like, like, something is like to do not like sit on your bed and do your homework because you're gonna get like tired like go on your desk have the thing ready and if you feel like you're like oh let me just watch a youtube video or something like i feel like that's no, so tempting but just like okay so here's something that i do i feel like this is like kind of weird or something but like it's really helpful to me it's like so if i'm like feeling like really unmotivated or something or i'm like let me just let me just like watch a tv show episode or something no it's like no <laughs> i would just like okay so this is what i do i like open the window so then it's like i just like open the window or open my door and it kind of feels like other people are like watching me and then it feels like i have to do the thing that's so funny <laughs> but like, it sounds weird but it literally uh, like works you know also like when studying with others i feel like it's not that efficient like always like oh yeah let's study together but like it's really not that best way to do it in a way that is efficient and you guys can keep each other accountable is if you guys go to like the silent section of a library or like somewhere yeah, that you guys yeah. cannot talk and you guys are forced to like do work with each other and you guys can keep each other accountable and like not go on your phone or something yeah and also i would say like don't listen to music when you're doing things i don't it kind of like takes away from like because like if you don't multitask then you get the thing done like really fast because all your energy is on it Oh, and also, when you're working, try to put your phone in another room. Like, it makes yeah. a big difference. Not just if you put it away, because, like, you subconsciously know it's close. It's, like, a yeah. big thing to have it inconveniently far away. Oh, yeah. And also, like, another thing is, if you, like, really feel like you need a break or something, um, you could, like, be, like, to yourself, let me, like, do my math homework first, and then I'll, like, take a, like, short break, and then I'm going to do my English homework. Oh, also another thing, try to, like, if you're... If you're so energized after school, like, try not to lose that momentum and, like, get straight uh, yes, to Yes, you know exactly. I mean? Like, so, like, use that momentum. Don't 
take a break. <laughs> if you're gonna delete it, you know? <laughs> yeah. I have another tip on how to not procrastinate, and that's like set a timer and then be like, how fast can I do this? Oh, that is good. I love doing that. It's like helpful. Oh, it's like a little like, stressful, but like time lapse yourself. So you can't yeah. use Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really cool to see yourself like, you know? <laughs> so you're like motivated to like work. So now we're gonna cover how to like best balance your schedule and how to have like a good work and social life balance. Yes. Because you can have both. You can. Work hard, play hard. Exactly. Like yeah, I feel, I feel like, like a lot of people are like work just work hard, just play. But you can have the best of both worlds. Like everything um depends on how productive you are. Like if you get something done, then you can like keep going. And you like can, the like, more productive you are, the more things that you can fit into your day. Like if you get the like four hour test done in like two hours, then you can use that two hours to go and um, hang out with your friends. Two hours, and you guys can have fun. Literally, it's just like motivate you yourself. You use four like hours that. to do your work, like you're unefficient, and you just spent uh, two four hours doing being annoyed and not having fun. I know, like don't don't just like. It's like hard, but like try not to just like kind of like get carried away and be like I'm tired right now. Like, don't like instant gratification, you know, just like. There's gonna be a reward afterwards. Yeah, Either it's gonna that. be like a better reward. Exactly. Something that I do is I have a to-do list every day of like 20 things and I write that down and that helps me like, I must do this, this, this. And that helps me like balance my schedule with like knowing what to do. Oh yeah, my friend does that too. Oh, okay, here's another thing. If you have a planner or something, like have a place to write down your school homework. So you have like a place where you can write all your homework and see like what you have to do. Yeah, if you're like that kind of person that would be helpful but it's like i'm not more visual but i like I having it just like google calendar make sure you like know where to find yeah that's good too you know? also if you're a freshman i would say like get to know like all the teachers because you don't know who you want to like write your recommendation letter it's always better if you like know that teacher for a longer time but always be respectful to the teachers you can like get to know them too yeah they're, they're people they like to know them <laughs> yeah exactly you know? now i'm gonna be talking about community service so i just find it like really like gratifying i guess and like fun to do it's not just like good for yourself but also good for the community honestly yeah so i would say like you can find like some opportunities especially in areas that like interest you yeah there's a lot to do and a lot of schools can like connect you with different organizations and a lot of schools yeah organizations. or like just do like a search like for example um for community service i like work with um, teaching kids with disabilities how to like skate and I also like um, work at this like art room organization and it's like so fun I just yeah. like it. I love doing it I you also get to meet new people system. there's like opportunities wherever yeah it's always like good to do you don't have to like go to another place like another country to do community <laughs> literally it can be like it can be like five minutes from where we live yeah. and then on the topic of extracurriculars um make sure that you kind of like have your own extracurriculars and you're not just like doing academic things especially freshman year um explore like a bunch of different clubs like you can just join like all of them literally all of them and then see what's like best for you yeah and then try to like stick with them you know? yeah throughout high school like if it's you find like community. what you like and then try to stick with that and if you like really passionate about it then you can try to go for a leadership role in that mm -hmm. And also, like, extracurriculars are a really great place to meet people. It, like, farthers your own interests, and you learn so much. It's really do it. Have fun. Like, that's the whole point. I know. Like, extra little, like, hobbies and stuff. Literally. Sports are a great thing to add. Also, like, sports are, like, really good for yourself to exercise. I do figure skating, and then I am going to be doing track. Yeah, it's a good way to get yeah exercise and like it makes you feel much better. I know, like, and like yeah, also know. like packs your schedule, makes you more productive, and it's also like built in social time too. But you don't have to like, like do sports if you don't want. Oh to. yeah, you, you don't, don't have, have to. to. Just like I feel like it's good to like move your body because once you like get in exercise, it's also like good for your mind too. Exactly, and you like meet a lot of new people. On yeah, that's like one of the best like things. So college, it can it's scary. Yeah, it is really scary. But I would say. It is useful to like start thinking about it earlier. I mean, yeah, it definitely like you don't is. have to like be just, looking. But, you just like, gotta like know that exists and just <laughs> think about yeah. what you want to do. Yeah, and like what you kind of like. Exactly, we're still in that whole process right now, as because like going into the senior year, applying for colleges. Yeah. So 
it's pretty scary currently but it doesn't have to be for the whole time yes just like be genuine to yourself and kind of like find your own interests so high school can get really stressful obviously with everything going on i feel like high school is literally one of your busiest times like my parents say that they were like all like the most stressed out during high school yeah same it was also like way harder in china but yeah <laughs> Okay, so I know like things can get really stressful sometimes, but I feel like if it is that way, then maybe you can like take a step back or kind of like take some time to yourself to like relax. Or I feel like another thing is like you can take like one of the days of the week to like just like cool down like and stuff. I feel like a little bit of stress is good, you know? It like keeps you going. You can't expect to go to high school with no stress. There's gonna be some stress, but it's yeah, for sure. some healthy stress. But you guys got this, and if you ever need anything, just comment down below and I'll respond. Now, a big part of what you do in high school is serious tests. tests. I would say, like, in 10th grade, you should take the PSAT. It's a good way to say You don't have to, like, stress yourself because it doesn't, like, come anything. But it's, like, good it's to do. It's a good way to, like, know what that shit is about and, like, prepare yourself a little bit. And then I say when you like for studying for CT, it's good to like, really spend time on it and like get to do the test and like target your weak points. You have to do it efficiently, you know? Mm -hmm. And make sure when you study, you study for the entire, you do like a practice test, you do the whole thing. Like don't take breaks. For 10th grade, I would say like you can take an AB test if you want. Like it depends on what your school offers. You could self study or like, but you don't, you don't have to, but. Yeah, I would say like challenge yourself with APs, especially in like junior year, senior year. And for studying for AP tests, we can make another whole video on that. But basically, we're just gonna go through like Basics. a brief things. So just like really like take some practice tests, go through like all the units, yeah. figure out watch what you don't know. reviews on YouTube, take notes. <laughs> okay, so now for SAT, ACT. Mostly for upperclassmen, so if you're an underclassman, you don't really need to worry about this yet. But there's a PSAT, but that's not important. It's just practice. Yeah. But I would say if you want to know if you're an SAT or ACT person, take a test for both of them without studying. And whichever one you score higher on, just focus on that. Or like whichever one you think you will do better on. Like, yeah. Because yeah. sometimes you just have to be more familiar with the actual test. Yeah, exactly. ACT is more about like time mm -hmm. and like fast. And SAT is more like understanding. Start studying in advance. I start studying in like months in advance. I and and oh, you can take it multiple times too. I only study for two weeks. I just like hardcore study. Just do this. Any SAT questions the entire year, except for right before the test. Yeah, and Esther did great on the SAT. You just gotta study like know what to study. And study like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, the SAT is all about focus. Do the entire practice. No breaks because that's yeah. hard. Actually, focus. Better. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If there's anything that we didn't answer, please comment down below. But I, feel, I hope that this video was useful for you guys to know how to succeed like academically as a high schooler. And if you want some social advice, we made a video on that as well. Yes, and you can go watch that too. But if you like this video, just like and subscribe and comment down below. Yeah. Yay. Okay, bye guys.